Johnny Depp won his defamation lawsuit and fans celebrated. Now though, some Hollywood A-listers are abandoning Captain Jack Sparrow, but why? Find out in this episode of The Politics of Hollyweird. Hi, I'm Kelly Ballard, Liberty Nation's national correspondent and host of this show, The Politics of Hollyweird. After Johnny Depp won his defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife, Amber Heard, fans were ecstatic. Finally, the Pirates of the Caribbean star had been vindicated, or so it seemed. However, supporters couldn't leave well enough alone and chose to dig deeper, reportedly paying $3,000 to unseal court documents in an attempt to find more dirt on Amber Heard. Instead, though, the thousands of legal papers seem to suggest Depp might not have been as innocent as believed. The document showed that Johnny Depp's legal team planned to use uh, nude photographs of her, as well as bring out the fact that she was a stripper at one point, according to Jezebel. The paperwork also contained confirmation that photos and audio submitted by Depp had been manipulated. Notes from the couple's therapist confirming Heard was a victim of, quote, intimate partner violence, unquote. Texts from Depp and his assistant all but confirming Heard's allegation that he had kicked and beat her in front of his staff on a private plane. Depp's attempts to help Marilyn Manson, another alleged abuser, hide from the police and more, Jezebel reported. When Johnny posted on Instagram celebrating his victory, a lot of A-listers liked the post. Now, however, since those documents were unsealed, many Tinseltown celebs have unliked or taken back their likes. Some of those celebs include Game of Thrones' Sophie Turner, The Kissing Booth's Joey King, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's Dakota Fanning, Evil Dead's Bruce Campbell, and even Pirates of the Caribbean co-star Orlando Bloom, and Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. There are still some Depp supporters, or at least those who haven't removed their likes, including Friends uh, star Jennifer Aniston, and Crazy Rich Asians and Eternal star Gemma Chan, and let's see, uh, even Aquaman co-star Jason Momoa. Will this revelation change the minds of Johnny Depp fans? Likely not, but for the Hollywood elites, staying on the right side of political correctness could be seen as paramount to keeping their fame and glory. Tu Wong Fu actor John Leguizamo is all worked up and asking, or should I say demanding, that people boycott the upcoming movie, Alina of Cuba. Apparently he doesn't like the idea of James Franco from the Spider-Man trilogy playing Fidel Castro. You see, James Franco is not Latino. And he tweeted this, how is this still going on? How is Hollywood excluding us, but stealing our narratives as well? He told readers to boycott, then added that he didn't have a problem with Franco, but he ain't Latino. The filmmakers argued that Franco is the one who best resembled Castro. They said this, they responded by saying, to get there on such a tough look to cast, we used Fidel Castro's ancient Galician heraldry as our, folk, or as our focal compass, and then combined through the entire ranks of actors with Latin roots in Hollywood to find someone who has a similar facial structure. In executing a close search for into our hopefuls through the eye of Spanish and Portuguese genealogy, which the Galicians held, we found that James by far had the closest facial likeness. Even Castro's daughter, she approved the choice commenting, saying that James Franco has an obvious physical resemblance with Fidel Castro besides his skills and charisma. Well, that's it for this episode of Holly Weird. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to visit libertynation.com for more episodes and intriguing stories from our talented staff as well as my weekly Hollyweird column. Until next time.